Hi guys, I was so excited. It's still Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and I thought I would shoot part two. Oh, that's so good. I always have to keep my spoon handy with the way that I drink my coffee because sometimes the cinnamon. Un momento, por favor. Um, I'm not going to say who's making me smile. I'm shooting. I'm just telling them to hold on. Uh, so anyway, here's the thing. So in my last vlog, I was kind of raving about um, some of the, the shoes from Reebok. So the CrossFit shoes, the design your own shoes for CrossFit. Um, originally, the, the first shoes we started trying out, the these are real flex. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope these are, I might have to correct myself, but as you can see, let's, okay. See the difference in the bottom and then the difference in the bottom here between the zigs. Um, and for those of you that might be watching this video that didn't watch the last video, um, disclosure up front again, you guys know that um, my company Fitfluential Reebok. Reebok is one of our clients. So full disclosure, I was not, I did not pay for these shoes. Happy joy. I was given these. And um, what I was talking about on my last vlog, if you missed it, so you don't have to go sit through that, is I was kind of reviewing some of the shoes. Um, and one of the things I said was that they were talking about this when we were at headquarters on Friday, that you could wear this shoe or you know, they were talking about how, you know, all these different shoes and I'm like, and then they were talking about running and saying you could run in them and I'm not lying. On the outside, I was like this. Mm. On the inside, I was like, are you kidding me? Really? I'm not. So I'm just being honest with you. Um, I was very, very skeptical because I guess I was thinking of how these felt. These ones to me are very lightweight um, and I've mentioned to you guys before. My personal taste is different from a lot of my people. I really like to feel when I put on a shoe that like I'm locked and loaded in there. It's like, imagine, so here's the bottom of the shoe and it's like, that, that's what I personally like. A lot more people like this really free, um, it almost just feels like a sock with support. Uh, I could be wrong, they might describe it differently. But for me, I feel like these are very, very light. Um, it doesn't offer as much of the locked and loaded feeling. Like if you can see this, this is very light. So for me, I wear this kind of out and about after, after the gym. These two are more my style, not only because it has that much more solid platform, um, but they're comfortable and of course, fun colors. Who's gonna complain about that? But like I said in my last vlog, they said you could run in these and I was like, sure I can. So I went to the hotel gym and I, I'm trying to think if that was a lifting day. I think I did. I think I, I did shoulders. I did a shoulder blast workout, which was awesome. And a couple of things. Let me digress. I'm announcing my digression. Here I was in the hotel gym and I was there for probably about an hour, hour and 10 minutes or so. And they had a really nice gym at this Marriott up in uh, Boston. And they had great, a great set of weights, several machines, and not the kind of machines that, I don't know if you guys have traveled in the past, but sometimes when you go to a hotel gym, um, you go to a hotel gym and you go into the gym and they'll have machines. And then you put your finger on it and the whole machine's like, like it's so old. Oh look, I made myself blur. It's so old and crappy that you, it's like, there is no way I'm getting on this machine. No way. So when you see really good gyms, and I think a lot of the hotel chains are, are putting a lot of really good money into these um, hotel gyms, so it was nice. They had weight machines, they had BOSU, they had the uh, spree balls, they had a, a ton of free weights, which is, again, I remember when I used to first start traveling for business, you know, 10 years ago, and I would go to the hotel gym and they would have, like, if they had dumbbells, um, they would have like a set of 50s and a set of threes. And that was it. And you're like, okay, so great. Dude, it's like bird happy hour outside my house right now. I think they came early for Thanksgiving. Um, 
What was I saying? Uh, I really, literally just lost my train of thought when I started talking about birds. Um, so embarrassing that I'm shooting a video. This, was, this is what happens when I haven't had enough coffee. Um, it's too bad you can't rewind while you're shooting. I was talking about mm, the hotel gym. See, I took a sip of coffee and it's all better. There's a cardinal outside. I'm a bird nerd. I'm just going to say it. Um, so I'm in the hotel gym and I'm doing shoulders. And I would say out of like all of the people that came in and went during the time I was there, no one until the very end, I have to just put something up on my counter. Uh, nobody used the weights. They all just got on the treadmill. And this speaks to number one, certainly it was, it was getting to be my tendency, not on purpose, but it's like so many people just do cardio. Like that's all they do. And there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying this about if you just run or whatever, but <laughs> nobody's going to tell you that there's anything bad to be had from not incorporating strength training. And I will tell you guys the number one thing that has been bad about me, I really enjoy running. I don't want to run for half marathons, maybe a 5k here and there. I run, I just run the way I run. There's no plan to it. I just like, I enjoy the, the process of running. I don't want to run more than an hour. I don't want to, I just have no desire, but I really enjoy it. And I found the past couple of months, especially with doing some traveling again, that when I'm not planning my workouts, what I tend to do more than everything else was, I tend to go, oh, I'll just go for a run. Oh, I forgot my stuff when I packed it in my suitcase, I'll just go for a run. It's always easy to just go for a run. And then I'm you know, realizing like that's all I'm doing is running. And there's no strength training. And if you know me and you've been watching my videos for a while, God bless you, and um, you poor thing, um, or reading my blog, you know that I'm much more, I don't wanna say much more, I, I'm, I'm much more about building muscle and you know I don't want to be this fluffy um, cardio only person. You can see a difference in people that just do cardio and no strength training whatsoever. So now that I'm back at it and doing my strength training, I just feel better and there's something to be said about you know when you're really crushing it and, and getting stronger and you just feel it. You can just feel, I mean like I can feel a difference in so many, just in a few days, but I was amazed the whole time I'm at the hotel gym, there I am doing a shoulder workout and person after person after person came in the hotel gym and they're like, and I was just in the corner of my eye going, are you guys gonna do anything? And they just get on the treadmill and leave. Like every, it's almost as if, but I will say, I do think a lot of people that are maybe newer to fitness, they just don't know. And I think that there's that intimidation factor of if you've, if imagine this, if you've never worked out with a trainer, if you have no idea, it can be very intimidating. And these are some of the things that, here's a little snapshot of what's coming in 2013 with Fitfluential. There just might be options for people like that where you can, you know, figure out, hey, if I'm traveling and I'm just starting to work out, what do I, what do I do with this hotel gym? What do I do here or there? Um, so it's all cool. But um, anyway, yeah, so just back to wrap this up. I totally did not believe, I, I, love, I love my peeps at Reebok, but I totally did not believe you when you said that I could wear this and go running or these other shoes. Um, and I will ask uh, Alfonso, Angry Trainer, and Steve Feaster to do a video on this. Um, and we'll put it up on the Fitfluential YouTube channel to which you should subscribe. Fitfluential, F-I-T-F-L-U-E-N-T-I-A-L. Subscribe to our channel because now we're putting up all kinds of um, videos to start off. Our first couple of shows are gonna be Fitfluential Moves, just featuring some of our ambassadors um, with workout tips and moves, and then you'll have more options in 2013, and then also Fitfluential Eats, which is all about meal plans and food and um, recipes. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have those guys do um, a video about what they were saying with, you know, that you can wear, I forget what they said, you can wear running shoes for weight training, you can wear weight training shoes for running or, vis or what you could or couldn't do. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. But anyway, all that to say, it's the day before Thanksgiving. Um, this is my second vlog and I really have to go because I have stuff that I'm supposed to have done by 1230 and it's already getting late. Um, but just to let you guys know, I know I haven't put up a vlog of myself, which you're probably thankful for since um, last week, 
but um, we were, it was just crazy. I was out of town from Sunday. I got into Boston Sunday night, and then uh, I didn't get home until Saturday night. It was just insane. It was packed. Um, I had all my camera and everything with me, and I didn't shoot video. But I will tell you this. I had a great workout week, and it feels freaking awesome. Yesterday, oh, that's so good. Um, yesterday, I went to Lifetime, um, Lifetime Fitness, and it was back in, uh, yeah, back in Biceps Day. And I, you know, went, I found myself going, oh crap, I only have an hour and a half. And, you know, I'm all about, if you know me, I'm all about um, time and not running late and not rushing. And so I'm like, oh, I really don't have enough time by the time I leave and I get there and you know I'm gonna be rushing I'm not gonna have time for the sauna I'm not gonna have time for this and you know but I'm like you need to go because if you don't go my day was booked until 9 o'clock central um, yesterday so um, I went to lifetime and it was like I don't know what time it was maybe 10 or 11 in the morning and got on the treadmill did my five-minute warm-up and then uh, went over to the meathead room which I finally call it the meathead room um, to do back and biceps. Here's what's funny. It, it really, it still scares me that it is still this t trend or tendency that, <laughs> and maybe I shouldn't say this because it'll scare away some of you women that are getting started, but you know, I walk over there and the guys that are in there, so I'm going to tell you, I think yesterday until the very end, I was the only woman in the meathead area, right? It's all guys and they literally look at you when you walk over there like, oh, are you lost little girl? I'm like, no, I'm about to lift more than you. So get out of my way, bitches. Um, but I went there and it, you know, every time I'm walking through and they upgraded a lot of the equipment at Lifetime, so they moved it since the last time I had been working out in there. And again, I told you, earlier this year, I've been tending to do running only. It feels so good to be lifting again. Um, but anyway, so I went over there and, the whole time I'm like walking around going, where's this machine? Where's, you know, where's the hammer strength, um, high row, can't find it. So I'm looking and I just walk through like, and I have my, um, I had my baseball cap on. Oh, there's a Robin. No, it's not. It's a Cardinal. Sorry. Um, and they're just still, they're just all like, they, I mean, literally like the guys just look at you like there's a girl in here. <laughs> You'd think I was in the locker room or something. Anyway, so I found that quite amusing. But ladies, let me just tell you something. Don't get intimidated by that. You know, if, if I, it, it, I really don't think they mean to, you know, be that obnoxious when they're staring. But, you know, just you belong there just as much as they do. Um, and half of them don't really necessarily, I don't want to make a sweeping generalization. There's a lot of them that don't know what they're doing. Um, and they're there just to work chest and biceps because that's all they do. So you probably know more than they do as far as balance and training. Um, or a lot of them. But anyway, if you have a question, just go up to somebody and ask. If you think that they're on a machine that you want to be on, just tap them on the shoulder and go, excuse me, are you on this? You know whatever. Talk to people. Don't be scared of talking to people at the gym. It's a great way, you know, to make friends and I'm sure there's some creepy people there that you don't want to meet, but um, generally speaking, just, you know, don't be scared. Don't be intimidated. Nothing's going to happen. Um, you'll find that if you start going on a, on a regular time at your gym that you'll run into kind of the same people and they'll get to know you and then they'll, you know, sometimes they'll start up conversations. I remember one time this guy came up to me and he's like, I see you here all the time and you're doing things I've never seen anyone do. Not that these were my ideas, they were my trainer's ideas, but it was kind of cool. So you make friends that way. And I'm just going to put this out there for you. I am so, so, so excited about what my training is going to be for the end of this year and, and going forward. Um, but I did back and biceps yesterday and it felt great. Um, I can still tell, remember a year ago I had the, the shoulder injury? Um, I can still tell that my left side, it's always tended to be weaker than my right side, I'm right handed, but definitely like when I was doing any of my pull downs or the hammer strength, this is the, this is the arm that gives out first, it's, it's frustrating, so, um, but we'll get over that, we'll balance it out. So I did back and biceps yesterday, uh, Monday was my day off because I was at Lifetime for another of the best massages 
ever that I've ever had. I'm just gonna put this out there and then I'm gonna close. <sighs> so yes, let me disclose this as well. <laughs> Lifetime Fitness is a client of my company, Fitfluential. But for those of you that know me, you know I have been a member of Lifetime Fitness for I think like five years, four years. Um, so I've been going there and, and loving the gym well before I had them as a client. Um, so I think you know that I'm just, that's where I met Jay, my trainer. That's how I found out about polar heart rate monitors from my trainer, from Lifetime. If you have a Lifetime Fitness in your area, okay, you need to look this up. You need to go in there and check it out. There are, beyond the fact that it is a, it's a higher level club, you're gonna pay a higher price point each month for your membership, okay, so get over it. But what you're paying for and what you get in, in that value is extraordinary. The clubs are so nice. They have everything. They have rock climbing, they have basketball, they have basketball leagues, they have trainings for 5Ks and marathons, and then they have running groups and events. They have spin, they have Pilates, they have yoga, they have um, a spa and a salon, which I will get to in a second. Um, they have childcare. If you're a member, you get to use two hours of childcare a day for free. That alone is gonna pay for your, if you have kids, that alone is gonna pay for your, um, your subscription every month. So they've got the childcare, private um, uh, changing rooms, obviously, and locker rooms, which are nice enough that you want to move into. S private steam rooms in each one of the um, uh, um, locker rooms. I can't talk. A pool, indoor outdoor pool. Um, I don't know if you call them jacuzzis or hot tubs, but really huge hot tubs. Um, nice big sauna. Um, plenty of machines. I've never had to wait for a machine ever. Um, really great trainers, um, and, and again, I've noticed they've got they've upgraded all of their equipment. Now let me go back to the salon, you guys. I was we were they allowed us that are uh, some of us that are participating in in promoting what Lifetime has to offer at Fitfluential. They were giving us um, some certificates to try out some of these services, um, like the salon. I'd already used the salon actually in the past, getting my hair done there. So I knew that they had really great products, but I'd never gotten a massage there. And for those of you that know me, you know I'm a massage snob. I've been getting massage for a while. I get really deep tissue to work out my muscles. So I was very skeptical. I was like, you know, I'm, who knows when I'm gonna get there. Like I didn't think they'd have good massage people there. I'm telling you without a doubt, best massage I've ever had. I almost feel bad saying that because I've had in the recent past some great people. It doesn't mean they're not great. This person that I've discovered at, at my lifetime fitness is outstanding and their prices are unbelievably inexpensive. Trust me, from somebody who knows what, what massages are all over the country and locally, um, I think now, again, let me put this out there. Some pricing obviously may be different in different markets. You can get a 90, 90 minute massage for $75. Do you know what I was paying before at another salon? $120. Um, you also, if you are not a member, you can go to Lifetime Fitness and get a massage. And if you get a massage, you can use the childcare and you get a gym pass for the day. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? And they have a full hair, nail salon, all of that with like the best products from Aveda, Bumble and Bumble, um, you name it. They've got makeup, they have Botox ladies, which you know I'm gonna be all like, give me some of that. Um, I have to put that out there because some of these perks I had no idea about. So imagine, guys, if you wanna get your, your significant other that blasted squirrels out there again, I'm gonna come out there and kick your ass. Um, Sorry, I have issues with animals. Damn it, I have to go out there. Um, guys, if you wanna get your, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, or it could be vice versa, ladies, get it for your man. Get yourself, and if you have kids, think about this. <laughs> buy, buy a massage or a massage package, add a Lifetime Fitness if they have one near you, go in and check out the gym for the day, put your kids in childcare, sit in the sauna, enjoy it, and then I know, here's what I'm telling you. Once you're in that gym, you're going to have your membership there. Um, now again, some people have different things. You know, you might like a simpler gym that doesn't cost that much and you just want the bare basics. You don't need trainers, you don't need childcare, you don't need to have the sauna or the really nice locker rooms, um, whatever. We each go for what matters to us. For me, 
I've been going to Lifetime for like five years and I love it. I have to go outside and attack a squirrel that's attacking my bird feeder. So um, that's my rave about Lifetime, which makes me very happy. And when I go there, it's like, it's my escape. Did I mention they have rock climbing? Yes, rock climbing. Um, happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to go hurt a squirrel. I'm just kidding. I will not hurt a squirrel.